Has the voice kind of been reaching out to you ever since you've been off? Um, I know you guys were supposed to do something in Vegas and that fell through and I was really pissed off about that. Yeah, no, that was a rough time, man. Yeah. Ah! Like, like learning not to put all your eggs in one basket, even if it's backed by the voice, because mm -hmm. even the voice, you know, can't predict the future. So, no. yeah, I, mean, I was supposed to be a part of the biggest show they were doing out there. Um, uh, in 2018, I think the spring of 2018, fall of 2018, it was supposed to start. And it, yeah, like, I mean, the guy uh, who owns Virgin Records bought the hotel. And so they started doing renovations on the whole thing. And they're still doing renovations. But Vegas is like a ghost a ghost town now because of COVID-19, which is crazy. But, mm -hmm. but, you know, but yeah, that show got canceled. So the voice, no, they haven't really hit me up since then. I mean, I don't know what they're trying to do. They're on season 25 thousand you wow. know <laughs> they did two seasons a year so they're like all over the place nick jonas is is one of the coaches now on the show. That. yeah i think the only reason why is because they used you as a promotional image for season five and that's why the show started blowing up that's I mean, just how i feel about it you know you know what i appreciate that i i <laughs> once again high praise high praise but that's yeah, man. Dude, that no, was a boy. surprise, man. That was a surprise. Like, it's literally, crazy. I thought that I was maybe smoking a little too much stuff that <laughs> is allowed to be in California because I literally That's was watching, so I was literally eating cereal, literally eating cereal, and I uh, swore I saw you on the TV. I was like, dog, that I was remember, weird. Uh, I, I can't. I remember coming to your house and you were like telling me that. And oh I was my like, God. Oh. I was like, That's not him. I was like that, that. I was like, why did I just see Shul on the TV? That was weird. And then when I heard Christina Aguilera go Matthew, I'm like, <laughs> what? And then they showed you an image of you laughing, like we want you. And I immediately text you, I'm like, tell me you're in California right now. Tell me you're in California. You're like, how do you know I'm in California? I'm like, bro, you were just on my TV as a promotional image for the show. And you're like, I guess I gotta start promoting that. <laughs> like, oh, wow. it was crazy. And you have the fast four chair turnaround, dude. It's impressive. Come on, man. Like, Thank you, man. I appreciate you, bro. Dude, what a time. How was that experience? I mean, you were on there for a long time. I want to yeah. say... I mean, six months? to like... Like, the entire process took about a whole year. Because mm -hmm. um, what? I did my open call audition uh, in the beginning of 2013. I think it was February in New York. Mm -hmm. Then the show wasn't over until december so like literally it was like the whole year like um but it was amazing dog we were out there we film how we how they do it is we, we film uh like all the portions of the show that aren't live which are like the competition parts like um the battle rounds and the knockouts and blind auditions and stuff so we film those all in the summer and then when people start to vote uh that usually comes around in october um for, for like the fall season because they have the spring season and the fall season so i was in the fall season mm -hmm. and so yeah i was out there like while we were doing the live shows well i mean we filmed everything for like maybe two months over the summer like most of july and august and then then what the, and then yeah october through through december we were in there so so it was like about four months of filming and then like all the other months of like preparing and like, you know, doing auditions and stuff. All that, so that's crazy. And you what? had uh, to stop the production when you actually did the live audition. Oh no, no, it wasn't live. So when you did the audition, like, didn't you tell me that they had to stop and reshoot because they turned around so fast. You didn't expect that or well, something. Well, no. Dude, it's wild. Like ah, when I, when I did my audition, I really bro. I mean, I think I've told you like this before, like just like so much prayer went into it, man. Like God is so good. Like when I when I was like backstage and you know getting ready for everything, like I was just like, yo, Lord, whatever you want to happen, let it happen. Like it's out of my hands. I was gonna go out there and have fun, you know. And and yeah, dude. Like I I started off a cappella and then. Yeah, they all turned around, like, at the same time, you know, which was just 
Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Like, it was, it was crazy because, like, I, but it was wild because I didn't, like, I didn't stop. Like, I just kept going. Like, I, it was cool because, like, well, well, for one thing, the sound effects that they have, like, the do 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 like, yeah. like, like, that actually isn't, like, they add that in into the show, like, in post because. Correct. Like if someone heard all those like things going off, like at like it would definitely mess somebody up. So all you see really is like the the, ta- the chairs like s- spin around and then there's like all then the like the lights come on. So so I remember singing and then like I kind of had my eyes closed a little bit as I was hitting one of like the the high notes and in, in the intro mm-hmm. for uh off serve. Off serve, yeah. And I open my eyes and like all I see are these like white lights and all these coaches, you know, like that he just flipped around. It was so like I can see like I've seen it through the audition, like through the cameras, you know, perspective, but like I remember it from my eyes. Like Right, that's crazy. And it was like ah like it was <laughs> it, it was so cool at the same time because like I was able to just like, all right, yeah, I've got the coach's attention now now I can just have fun. And so I just like, I was like, all right, let's go. And I just like, you know. The ball was in your court, man. Like you had full control. Exactly. I thought you were going to go with Adam, not going to lie, in my personal opinion. But going with Christina was definitely something good for your range. Like It's crazy. I um, like going into it, you know, they ask you like, like even your story and stuff like that. It's like, who a coach do you think you're going to choose? Who are you going to, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And honestly, the whole way up to it, like I was like, yeah, I'll probably pick like Adam or Seal if they turn around. But one of the producers pulled me aside um, right before I went on stage, and, and like she asked me that same question again, like, "Yo, when you get up there, like, who are you gonna choose?" And I'm like, "Yeah, maybe like Adam or Seal." She's like, "No, you're not." <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> like when you get up there, you're gonna like the coaches are gonna love you, and you're gonna listen to what they have to say, and you're gonna choose the one that wants you the most. And it's going to fight for you because you have to make it through, like, two more rounds before America gets a chance mm-hmm. to vote for you. You got to get it past the battles and the knockouts. So you need a coach that believes in you and that's going to fight for you to get you to, you know, mm-hmm. the place where, you know, it's in America's hands. And, and yeah, I just I took that to heart. And I was just like, all right, so I'm just going to go in there and, and be in the moment. And... Christina got me, man. Dude, she did. She had a warm heart, and she was just like, please yeah. pick me. I can definitely yep. work with you. Like, so that was, so there was that. But you picked that first song, no? Were you, did you pick Cough Syrup? I know you picked Hallelujah. Yeah. I don't know how much freedom you had on that show. With yeah, so on the show, there's, actually, there's a really good amount of freedom, actually. That's um, good. I kind of like, I don't know. I, I feel like there were so many great songs, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, like, I wish I'd... Like that's probably my one, like one regret that I have from the show is not like looking at all the songs that were like charting at the time, mm-hmm. songs that were like really popular that I could have done or that were like starting to become popular that I could have done on the show. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean things like like I did that one One Direction song like that was a popular song at the time which was cool. Yeah, but it's also that. a really good song. I mean One Direction is anyway. basically they are the new in sync of this generation. So I mean basically. Are. Yeah, but it's so crazy because like all of them have side have solo projects and they're all actually not bad. Like Harry Styles is crushing the game. Zayn, I love Zayn. You know that dude is a monster. His like newest album, uh, what's it called? Icarus Falls, bro. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, this is, is, is so snaking good. It's so it's like it's literally like how many how many songs are on there? It's a double album. I think there's like 24 songs. It's crazy, That's but it's crazy. so good. Like it's a, it's a long player, but you just like you just let it play. Like there would be times like I was just on a long long car ride to just let it play, and it's just great. Like I think for like a whole like month or two, that's like all I listened to in my car was that album. <laughs> but but yeah, I mean, and I, I mean, obviously it's kind of because. People rag on One D because they're they're a boy band, but like, hey man, I'm not mad at them. Like, no, they're doing they have a lot of success. They, they got their 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 start on on a TV show too, like on the X Factor. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, it's got to start somewhere. And Simon Cowell put them all together and created a super yeah, band. Of, it's gross. You know, like it's like just, crazy. 
It's insanity. No, it is but, crazy. So that's good that you get to choose a lot of songs, though. I mean, I thought that it was more specifically picked. Like, I know Hallelujah was yours. I knew yeah. Golf Syrup going into it had been yours. Like, yeah. I thought, like, like Wrecking Ball or um, yeah. Wrecking the Ball, Fall Out Wrecking Boys Ball. song, Imagine Dragons. Like, um, Wrecking Ball is my choice. It's Time is my choice. Uh, my song, Switching in the Dark, wasn't our choice, but, it, I mean, it was such a dope song. Mm-hmm. So I was, like, really happy to do it. And then Cosmic Love was my choice. Cough Syrup was my choice. So, yeah, basically, like, almost, almost all, all the songs. Like, it's a collaboration. Like, you work with the producers and mm-hmm. um, and, 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 and your coach. So, I work with Christina. And we That's you know, so cool. The songs we were going to do, so. Yeah, and you went so far so fast. Like, there was never really a time when um, either America or, you know, the friends and family back home thought you were going to get eliminated because any time, like, that you had that, like, opportunity to be eliminated, you were easily taken yeah. away from that situation up until they had that mistake with the hashtag uh yeah. put you in sixth that place was, instead of top five. five that was crazy that was <laughs> crazy um did you talk to any of the producers after that show like did they try to give you an explanation because i hope that they wouldn't leave you too in the dark with something that you know yeah. was basically their mistake yeah i mean at the end of the day like i I didn't really press it too much because, bro, the other, like, it's kind of wild, but I was really feeling it. Like, by the time I did get eliminated, like, I honestly, like, I was, like, I was beat. Like, I was tired. Oh, I was, yeah. like, like, it was, it was, it was getting hard. It was getting, like, really difficult, you know? Well, and I felt myself kind of slipping. So, like, mm-hmm. I'm actually kind of glad that it ended when it did because I, I, I don't know, I don't know what could have happened. You know, like I felt like I was kind of burning out. 